In this video, we're going to see what happens during a turn in the MetaZoo TCG. What is up guys, it's Drip Drop bringing you the drippest drop I can find. I hope you guys are doing well, and I want you guys to know that you are loved. Welcome back to the How to Play MetaZoo series part 3. In part 3, we're going to take a look at turns in MetaZoo and see what it looks like and how it takes place throughout the turn. What you can, what you can't do, and what you might need to think of when you are taking a turn in MetaZoo. First and foremost, your objective is going to be taking your opponent's life points all the way down to zero. There are going to be other ways you can win, such as using the Grim Reaper, your opponent concedes, or your opponent has the lowest life points and time is up and turns have concluded. To begin the game, both casters will roll a die or flip a coin to determine who goes first. Both casters will bookmark seven pages. If a player is not satisfied with their chapter, he or she can take a mulligan. When taking a mulligan, he or she can shuffle their chapter back into their spellbook and bookmark six pages. You will bookmark one less page per mulligan taken. Each caster will take turns taking their mulligan, starting with who is going first. Now we're going to go over the turns and how they should be carried out. At the start of a turn, if there is a card or text that states that something happens at the start of a turn, you will first start with that. Then you can proceed to bookmark a page from the top of your spellbook and put that page into your chapter. After you've bookmarked, you can awaken any fatigued aura or beasties that you have in the arena. Then, depending on what's available to you and the resources that you can use, the rest will be the bulk of the turn. You can contract an aura page into the arena. Remember, you can only contract one aura page per turn. Aura pages are free to contract and they come out awakened. You can also contract a Terra page into the arena. You can contract as many Terra pages as you want for free. But remember, you can only have six Terra pages in the arena at one time. So if you have six Terra pages out, whoever puts the seventh one in will replace the first one that was put into play. Like Terra pages, you can place as many trap pages into the arena as you want. Only if they have the trap trait though. If it doesn't and it's found out, you lose. You can only have one trap page face down under another page at any given time. You may move any amount of face down trap pages you have only once per page. You can contract a beastie, artifact, spell, or potion page during your turn as long as you have the resources of aura to do so. Any generated aura not used during that turn disappears. Spells go to the cemetery immediately upon usage. If you have powers available to you through your beasties or artifacts, you can use them, but only if you fatigue those beasties or artifacts. One of the more fun things you can do during your turn is declare an attack and resolve combat. But remember, each time you declare an attack, you must fatigue the beastie that attacked. You can do this as many times as you want during that turn. Now guys, at the end of the turn, if there are any effects on the arena that state that this happens at the end of the turn, that effect will take place. But other than that, I hope you guys learned a lot from this video. I hope I brought a lot of value to you guys. If you liked it, go ahead and give it a like. If you want to see more of this content, go ahead and punch that subscribe button. But other than that, I'll see you guys in the next How to Play MetaZoo series part four.